Hello. So when I was fixing this um, WM22 Sony Walkman board, um, my previous video was about this, uh, I went to go and decap this and as I was desoldering I noticed that I was lifting a lot of pads. Um, this makes me very nervous because if I lift too many pads and I'm probably not going to be able to, uh, I'm not going to be able to bodge it back into place such that it works. So I actually decided to stop and um, order a proper desoldering gun. I was previously doing it with um, one of these things. Um, I don't really like these things. I've never got on with them. It might not help that it's not a very good one. Um, I've also tried solder braid and I don't get on with that either. So I decided that I would actually invest um, some money into something a bit more proper. And I now have, um, through the post today, a desoldering gun. Um, the only one I could actually find from a UK seller, believe it or not. Lots coming from China, but then I didn't want to pay the import tax. So this is the best one I could find um, from a UK seller. And it comes with this great big chunky box, um, which deals with regulating the temperature and everything. It also came with a power lead and some spare bits and bobs. What we've got there is um, some of these, uh, I think they're filters and a couple of spare tips. And if this thing will focus, we'll actually see that the tips don't actually have holes in, which surprised me to start with. But I think what happens is um, when you when you use the tip for the first time, um, some solder melts and actually makes a hole. So what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to um, I'm going to get this all set up, and I'm going to um, desolder some junk. Um, I have a box of uh, the teardown box of just garbage which I, I can uh, do soldering practice on or extract parts from and I'm just going to find something out of there like for example this switch board looks quite um, looks quite doable because it's all through hole components um, yeah okay so let's let's desolder some stuff on this so I'm going to get this all set up now and then I'll jump to when I'm at that all right so I've got the things set up a um, few notes so this thing on the side I was expecting to have to screw and you just slide it right in that was easy enough the gun then sits in the in this kind of uh, mount thing on the side here. It also has a um, a sponge, presumably for cleaning the end of the gun. Not entirely sure, but um, immediately the first thing I did was actually drop the gun because it doesn't sit very well in this. All it takes is for you to knock it and it's falling on the floor. And note also that the tube here is glass. So you don't want to be dropping that if you can help it. So let's power it up. This is the first time I've powered it up. so. Uh, I don't know what to expect. Okay, first thing I notice is that it's quite noisy. Don't really care actually. And then we've got, okay, the readout showing the set temperature and then the current temperature, I presume. We see the current temperature ramping up. Okay, that's heating up really quickly. Now let's look at the tip. Mm, you're gonna focus phone. Okay. So I don't actually see that it's um, melted the solder in the end yet. Okay, I'll jump to when we're ready. Okay, there we go. So you can see now that the tip now has a hole. Uh, I had to turn up the temperature to 300 degrees for that to happen. So I'm going to try and desolder the switch from the corner here. Let's see how we go. Mm -hmm. Bit sticky there. Let's try that again. Did it work? Oh, that's so easy. This is going to make desoldering chips very painless. 
Let's do one more. Uh huh. Let's try this one here. Uh, let's just check the camera's got it in shot. Here we go. out. Oh, it's so easy. I don't know how I've lived without this. So now we've seen it in action, let's just take a quick look at the build quality of the unit and um, assess whether it's uh, going to last, because that's something that I'm, I'm not sure about. So the gun itself is, well, it's made of plastic. Um, it's a kind of matte plastic. The switch feels good. <coughs> doesn't feel too bad. Um, if you look carefully enough you'll see that it's kind of cheap. Um, you see there the plastic's not really fitting very well. Sorry about the finger in the shot there. Um, we've got this glass tube. wonder how long that will last. Notice the filter at the back of the uh, spring thing there. So we, ha we do have replacements for those. So I wonder how long they last. Um, presumably this clip releases the tube. Not sure. Um, yeah, so not amazing quality, but then you know, didn't pay a lot for it. The box that deals with the temperature control, yeah, it's okay. I mean, the power button feels pretty serious. Um, nice strong backlight. The buttons have a nice tactile feel. Um, what this presumably changes between centigrade and Fahrenheit. So yeah, I mean this part's fine I guess. Um, let's look at the connector. Ah, this is going to be hard whilst holding the camera. Ah, right. So this is the connector. I'm not sure whether um, you'd be able to use this to power other soldering irons, other temperature controlled soldering irons. That would be really useful actually because I have a really crappy soldering iron. Um, and then the thing next to it here is the, uh, this is the airline. This just unscrews. And come on. There we go. So there's a little O-ring holding uh, what looks like a filter or something in place there. And again, we do have um, spares for the filter in the box. So yeah, you can see I've now stripped the whole board, and this is so painless. It it really does take. Well, those switches, for example, took less than thirty seconds each to desolder. Um, even the smaller pitch pins on the connector there um, were really easy to desolder. So um, so far so good. I'm inclined to say that this is a pretty good purchase, and it's going to make. For example, desoldering chips much, much easier. I spent a long time desoldering chips from micros in the past, and it's a complete pain, um, but this is going to make it really easy, I hope. So, for the reference, this is the model. I'll put a link to the, um, to the supplier in the video description.